Hey guys, how you doing? This week we're going to focus on talking about some hybrid and electric vehicle technology. Uh, so let's start by going to the module. Uh, you go into Fundamentals eLearning here, and then you can go down to Day 10 or simply go to the one in the middle. And we're going to start with Electric Drive Categories Basics. And we'll get that module started. Now, to start us off for the introduction, it says hybrid and electric vehicles can be divided into several categories. And this lesson will study five categories. And hybrid technology categories include mild hybrid, full hybrid, plug-in hybrid, electric vehicle with range extender, or uh, the one we're really becoming kind of familiar with, like the Teslas, which are straight up electric vehicles. Now, there is more than one way to extend a vehicle's range. And one of the a few ways that you can do that. Uh, it says, how can the range be extended in a vehicle with an internal combustion engine, meaning it has a gas engine right here? Uh, we could put a larger gas tank on it. Increasing the size of the battery is not going to help us because it's not actually driving the wheels. Increasing vehicle power would actually take us the other direction. Um, also by increasing the vehicle's efficiency, so putting on stiffer tires, um, making sure the tire pressure is correct, things like that. We'll go to bullet point two. How can a hybrid vehicle's range be extended? So now if we're talking about hybrid, we've got a few more options. Um, we could put a larger gas tank on it. In the case of a hybrid, we could put a bigger battery pack on there. Um, increasing the vehicle power is not gonna help us, but we can also improve the vehicle's efficiency. So, the problem with increasing the vehicle power is that it's actually going to decrease our range because you're using more power, you know, to accelerate faster or something like that. <clears throat> Number three, how can an electric vehicle's range be extended? So if we want to make our electric vehicle go further, we're going to have to provide it with more power. Now, if it's an electric vehicle, we can't give it a bigger fuel tank because it's not using a fuel. Uh, we could increase the size of the battery. Uh, once again, vehicle's power is going to hurt us, but we can increase the vehicle efficiency. So it's kind of a, gets a little bit complicated, but if you make the tires stiffer so they roll better, that's one of the things Prius and Tesla does. Um, make the battery pack bigger, that also helps out. Now, something I'm gonna show you, I want to show you here is you can go through and change these the little slider bar here and see what the different technologies look like and kind of how the complexities of them increase the more options that you have. So number four says, what can be said regarding the battery of a fully electric vehicle? Now in the case of a fully electric vehicle, there's no gas engine. You don't see any gas engine here, which means it's gonna have to be a really big battery pack. In the case of Tesla, it's a huge battery pack that goes kind of underneath the car. So it's always going to be bigger than a hybrid because there's no gas engine. And we'll go to number five. What can be done in a hybrid vehicle to increase the power at the wheels? So if we want to make our hybrid vehicle go faster, one of the things we could do is make our engine bigger. We can make our battery pack bigger or we could do both. Um, so in this case, we could use both electric motor and inter internal combustion engine to give us more power. And if we go to number six, what defines the maximum power at the wheels in an electric vehicle? That's going to come down to the electric motor. If that's the only thing creating our power, the bigger it is, the more power we'll have. The smaller it is, the less power we're going to have. What can be said regarding the electric motor in an electric vehicle? It's going to have to have more power than a hybrid because there's, once again, there's no gas engine over here. If we go to our electric vehicle, no more internal combustion engine. It's all based on my electric motor. So that motor is going to have to be bigger and have more power than a hybrid. So kind of looking at some of the trade-offs here. And number eight. What can be said regarding the category's characteristics? The characteristic differs for each category, and that's why there's a subdivision. And that's going to be true. And what they're asking is, what changes in the car 
So when you start with the fuel vehicle, you just have the internal combustion engine. When you go to a hybrid, you end up with a small motor. You go full hybrid, bigger motor, and now you're actually separating them. We can run on just gas, we can run on just electric, or a combination of the two based on the little coupling device here. Plug-in hybrid, that just helps recharge the battery faster. Um, so there's a lot of different varieties of options. So that's why they're breaking it down into these different categories. And that's why a lot of people say hybrid car, but there's actually a lot of different options of hybrid cars, including a straight up electric vehicle like the Teslas. And now we'll go to number nine. What are the characteristics for hybrid and electric vehicles? I'm sorry, what are the categories for hybrid and electric vehicles. And for that, we're just gonna look at the list right here or the one over here, same thing. Um, we've got electric vehicle with range extender. We've got a full hybrid, plug-in hybrid, mild hybrid, and we've got the classic electric vehicle. So um, quite a few different options. So that's it for this module. It's a very short and sweet one, but what I like is that it it animates the different options of hybrid cars. Um, some of you guys like hybrids, some of you despise them. Um, I personally took me a little while to warm up to them, but I'm finding them very impressive, especially some of our the power and the speed of the uh, electric vehicles. So it's good to know the differences. So if you're shopping for a car and it says it's a hybrid, well, which one of these hybrids is it? Is it something you're able to, um, you know, plug and recharge at home? or is it something that has to recharge as you slow the car down? So it's good to know what setups that you're gonna be going with. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.